Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we have two new figures to add to our collection. Okay, first a porcupine to add to our wild animals collection right here, which contains Southeast Asian animals as well as you know North American animals. Of course, there are other country animals as well. Okay, and here we have a black wildebeest to be added to our primates and bovines collection right here, okay? At the end of the video, okay, I'm gonna give you guys like an update of what's coming up next on Dan Surprise, which is tomorrow, Saturday video, okay? I'm super excited. Of course, there are also some new updates in case that you guys have missed them, okay? So let's begin by pouring, okay? What I'm gonna do right now is basically pour all of the figures. We're gonna try to arrange them as neatly as possible back into the box okay so just gonna pour them as lightly as possible so you know not to scratch them okay so let's do this right now all right guys so let's begin by taking a look at our very new figure which is the black wildebeest okay so wildebeest they can run up to really fast speed of about 80 kilometers per hour of course they can be found in africa as well so i'm thinking we can actually put this in our african animals but i feel we should put them together with the bovines bovines i mean bovines basically means like moose cows water buffaloes and stuff what do you guys think let me know down below should i put this in my african animals collection box or should i put them with um, the other bovines let me know down below i think this is also a wildebeest but this one is actually a blue wildebeest okay so right now we have two different wildebeest of course you know there are plenty of species of them around and i heard and i've checked there are at least like 1.5 million wildebeest just in africa alone which is very very awesome Okay, next up, let's take a look at this. This is actually a giant panda. Of course, they can be found in China. So I'm gonna put the pandas right over here because they are part of the um, Asia, Asian animals. Here's another one from Col Collecte, which is quite an old figure, 2008. Panda bears are basically, they're not aggressive. They are quite docile, I would say, and they're very, very adorable, okay? Next up, we have a rhinoceros right here. I think many of you guys might be wondering, why is the rhinoceros, you know, not in the African animals box? Because this is actually an Indian rhinoceros. If you guys take a look at the skin, you can see it is actually very different from the white rhinoceros. It has like crumbled skin, it has like plenty of folds and wrinkles, and of course the texture to the eyes, the, um, it actually looks like rougher in the texture, okay? Next up, let's have a look at this. I think this is a water buffalo and this figure is actually from PNSO. Of course, water buffaloes, they can plow the fields. So farmers love to use uh, water buffaloes to help them plow the fields. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a look at some primates. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically to put all the bovines, the cows, the water buffaloes on one side and the primates on the other. So this is an orangutan. They are extremely intelligent and of course they are a close relative to humans. Okay, next up, what do we have right here? Wow, this one is a huge, huge bison. Yeah, bison, they are very, very strong, of course. And right here, we have a Bactrian camel. Do you guys know that these two harms are used to store food and water. Very cool. And they can go um, up to like a week or two without food and water, which is very, very impressive. Next up, we have a pig, which is known as a Barbie Rusar right here, okay? Very nice. And I think they have to file their horns right here in order, f you know, for them not to cut themselves, not to hurt themselves, okay? Barbie Rusar can be found in Indonesia. What else do we have? Let's have a look at this. This is basically a wolf, all right? Gonna put this one right here. And of course, we have a lot more pandas. And of course, these are baby pandas, which are known as, known as panda carps. Okay, let's see what else we've got. How about this one? Proboscis monkey. I think this has got to be one of the very significant looking monkeys out there because it has a very distinctive nose 
which looks very very big, very adorable I would say. I've seen them before at my local zoo and they look super adorable. Okay, next up we have the white tail box right here and the white tail box actually change their antlers every year. Alright, uh, what, el what else? We have a giant anteater. Do you guys know that giant anteaters, they are actually quite big. They were roughly about the same size as a lion. I saw them right in front of my eyes at my local zoo, which is known as the Night Safari. So it was very, very cool to be able to see a giant anteater right in front of my eyes. Okay, what do we have right here? I think this is a squirrel monkey. So you can see um, the limbs, the legs are very long. Of course, you know, this allows it to be able to climb trees really fast and they're super agile. Okay, so this one would definitely go into the um, primates section right here. What is this? Is this another sp squirrel monkey? I think so. Oh, this is a spider monkey. So let's do a comparison. So I think they do have similarities when it comes to their limbs. You can see all fours are very, very long and slender. But of course, the face are different. Okay, let's move on. Is this another squirrel monkey? Let's have a look at this. This is a Diana monkey. I have no idea about this particular monkey. I don't have much facts about this, so I would definitely need to do some research on this and let you guys know in the next video. Of course, we have chimpanzees right here. They look very much like, um, uh, I mean, their behavior, they're very intelligent, and they are, you know, the closest relative to humans. Next up, we have an armadillo. So armadillo and pangolin, they have similarities because they have armored bodies, okay? So pangolins and armadillo, they have this protective layer which can protect them from, you know, predators. This is basically a very scaly um, kind of um, texture. And it was said to be bulletproof as well. Yeah, this is very impressive. Okay, next up, what else we have? Wow, we have a beautiful moon bear right here. And you can see it has like a beautiful mane around its head. Okay, another Bobby Roussard um, figure. We have two exactly the same figure right here. What else do we have? Another chimpanzee, really adorable one. And here we have another pangolin. Awesome stuff. And here we have a saber antelope right here. Okay, what else do we have? A wolf, wow, this one is a timber wolf, it's a 2009 collective figure, so pretty vintage I would say. And this one looks like a wolf, but it is actually a coyote, nice. Alright, what else do we have? Okay, this one definitely looks a little bit like a bison, so let's do a comparison. This is actually known as a musk hawk right here, okay? M musk hawk. Okay, so Muskox basically gets its name from a very, you know, distinctive stench that it actually, you know, omit from its body, which is uh, kind of like, mm, I wouldn't say disgusting, but I would just say it's it's interesting and, and funny, okay? <laughs> All right, here is a moose right here. You can see the antlers are like really, really huge. And moose, they are basically gigantic sized animals. Some of them can even be taller than elephants, which is kind of like, you know, very, very huge. It's, they are basically huge. Okay, what do we have right here, guys? We have a white buffalo right here. So you can see they do have some similarities with the um, bison. Very, very strongly built, built like a tank. Okay, and this one has got to be, um, I'm not too sure, but I think. It is the only bovine with the longest pair of horns, I feel. You can see, wow, really cool. So this is basically the Texas Longhorn Bull. Very, very awesome. And here's another one. Okay, and this is the Anko Watusi Cow. So you can see they have very, very, um, you know, similar, very similar um, attributes, I would say. You can see both their horns are very, very long. Yeah, very cool. I can't remember, I think, you know, Jeremiah also gave this figure to us, so we have been receiving plenty of um, figures from Jeremiah to add to our collection. So just want to say a huge thank you to you, Jeremiah, for sending me all, all of, you know, so many different figures. Thank you so much. Here's a giant sloth right here um, from Collecte. You guys should know that sloths, they are 
extremely slow moving animals and they are so adorable as well okay so this one is another hippo of course it is not a uh, or rather an african hippopotamus it is a pygmy hippo and here we have another bear right here um it does look like the moon bear but i think this is a sun bear if i'm not wrong yeah let's take a look at this yeah i mean they do look very very similar yeah tapper how do you guys pronounce this because i was actually checking some of them actually say that uh, you know you pronounce it as tapir or tapir yeah so it can be tapir as well so yeah i'll leave it up to you guys okay okay for this i really do not know what you know what animal this is i mean it's some sort of like a deer but i do not know the exact species of this so if you guys know please let me know down below i think that would be really helpful okay next up wow this jacob ship has got to be um one of the very interesting looking ships out there you can see it has like two pairs of horns one is like inwards pointing and the other one is like outwards pointing extremely cool i would say okay so what about this one is this what 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 is the exact name of this sheep exact species of this sheep if you guys know comment down below as well okay and here we have a Himalayan tar. You know, some of these figures, they are pretty sticky. Um, I would say it's because, it's not because we didn't clean them, because I think some figures, they are actually like using, um, you know, perhaps, you know, not a very good quality kind of um, paint. So it comes sort of like, it comes off after some, some time. So yeah, so what I what I need to do is basically to clean the figures up, you know, so bear with me. So whichever figure feels sticky to me, I will just take a piece of wet wipe and, and clean them. You can see, you know, the, the wet wipe is yeah, getting dirty by, by this. Okay, this one is quite a um, an old figure, I would say. I think this is a moose. I'm not exactly sure. So if I got this wrong, please let me know down below. This one should be another wildebeest as well. Yeah. This is a black back jackal, alright? Beautiful one. Alright, this is not an actual animal that you'll be you'll be able to see out there because the horses that we we see right now, you know, they do not have a pair of wings. This is a Pegasus, okay, which is like a mythical creature, a mythical animal, you know, and the from the fairy tales, of course, it is a legend. So I don't think it's true. You know, similarly, we do have another, you know, mythical creature right here, which is the um, werewolf. So, yeah. All right. So, this is a Komodi bear, guys. Very beautiful one. Um, I don't have much facts about this bear, but you can see, you know, in terms of the body sculpture, it looks very similar to a polar bear. Okay, next up, I think this is a warthog, if I'm not wrong. All right, this one is another really adorable one, which was uh, sent to us by Jeremiah of Thing. It looks like a raccoon. Jeremiah, if you are watching this, if I got the name wrong, please comment down below, okay? That will be helpful. So what do we have right here? We have a black bear carp, very adorable young baby bear. And this is a rhinoceros calf. Um, this one, I think we can actually put this in um, our African Animals collection, okay? So, I'm gonna do that. Oh yes, next up, Porcupine. We have totally forgotten about this new figure that Jeremiah has sent us. So, basically, a Porcupine, they are able to protect themselves with the spikes. So, I've actually seen some lions trying to um, take down a Porcupine. I, I can't I can't remember whether it was a lion or a cheetah. So the porcupine basically, okay, just imagine, okay, this it's the lion, okay, just imagine, just imagine this is the lion. So the lion is like trying to attack the porcupine. So what the porcupine did was always to face the lion with its back. So with all the spikes, you know, pointing towards um, the lion. So the lions could not even get close to the porcupine so the porcupine was really really intelligent and you know really really good at you know rotating itself to face the lion with the spikes incredible video i, I love that video capybara capybara is like one of the uh, very popular animals out there 
um, they are extremely sociable. They are known to be able to get along with almost every animal. You know, I actually saw a video of capybaras hanging out with crocodiles. The crocodiles didn't even bother to attack or eat the um, I mean, uh, the capybaras, which was kind of like very intriguing for me. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have a lemur. All right. Beautiful one. If you guys have watched, you know, Madagascar, the, the animated movie, you guys should have seen, you know, uh, the lemurs in the movie. Plenty of lemurs in the movie. We have some red pandas right here. Okay. And what do we have? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, red pandas. Sorry. Do we put the lemurs? I think we should put the lemurs in the wild animals box. I think, I think so. The mandrill definitely you know have to go into the primates section for sure we have another tap here right here guys so you guys can see tap here is comes in all uh, i mean comes in all sorts of colors another hippo this is a pygmy hippo calf very adorable one panda cop this is known as an art vog it's quite a small animal i've actually seen them like you know it is about Roughly the size of a rabbit or smaller. Here's another tap here, right here. As you guys can see, we have two exact same figure. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I made mistakes. I, I, I purchased the same figure again, thinking it is a different one. Okay, so I'm cleaning some of the figures up because some of them actually feels a little bit like sticky to touch. Okay, this is a fox. This is a gibbon, guys. A gibbon. Very, very adorable. Or um, primate right here, a mandrill, and here's another rhinoceros. But this one is not an African rhinoceros, nor is it a um, Indian rhinoceros. It is a Sumatran rhino, which can be found in Sumatra, which is part of Indonesia. What do we have right here? A brown bear. Nice one. All right, two more red pandas right here. Is this a llama or is this an alpaca, guys? Can you guys like help me out? A skunk. A skunk, they are able to produce like a very, very um, smelly liquid from the back. Yeah, very, very cool. So they basically use this, you know, really smelly liquid to scare off the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, predators or even like other animals. Okay, here, here we have another panda cop. What is this? This one looks like a wolverine. I'm not exactly sure so yeah i mean if you guys like if you guys are able to help me out just put a timestamp, which is you know like how many minutes and how many seconds and let me know like you know this is a wolverine this is a you know lemur stuff like that let me know i think that would be really helpful it's a wolf we have an arctic fox right here so you can see the arctic fox they have like really flawless white perfect fur which is able to help them camouflage and blend themselves into the snowy areas like snowy snowy mountains very cool here we have another bovine well this one definitely feels um feels dirty so i'm just going to clean this on up right now together yeah i think in the future i'm just gonna do the cleaning together with you guys okay i think you guys may enjoy it I'm not too sure so let's just clean this yeah you can see this figure is like really really dirty yeah i mean it's about time to give some of the animals a good bath so what is this guys do we have the name i think this is known as a spanish bull i remember this yeah spanish bull nice nice figure right here we have a mandrill with a baby sitting on top you know on on top of the back and what is this a cow yeah we have a cow awesome stuff this one seems to be a uh, vintage schleck figure which i have no idea which year this was actually produced but beautiful figure panda right here and we have another mythical creature right here guys a, a unicorn okay you don't say an unicorn you say a unicorn because uh yeah the 2008 safari ltd mythical creature very cool we can also consider putting this into our horses collection i think that would be pretty nice as well and our last figure of the day guys so um what is this 
this is basically the tallest species of canines out there, the tallest species of dogs out there. It is a main wolf, I think. Yeah, a main wolf, but it's also part of the canine family. Very cool. This is our one and only figure of a um, um, main wolf, okay? So I've basically covered two boxes of um, wild animals. This box basically contains the primates as well as the bovines. And this box basically contains a mix of wild animals, okay? Thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Alright, we are not done yet. So as promised, tomorrow we will be unboxing this new set right here, which is known as the um, Dr. Alan Grant Tactical Claw Pack. So we'll definitely be taking a look at this one. Uh, at the same time, we'll be taking a second look at the two, three new Danger Packs. And of course, we have some blind bags right here to be opened up. You know, a few more to be opened right here. Hopefully, you are able to get um, more of the sets. We'll probably open a few more of these captive eggs. Those are already opened. Um, and yeah, tomorrow, hopefully, I think Sunday. Sunday, I'll be doing a lot of work on the Mosasaurus. So hopefully by next Tuesday, I'll be able to give you guys like an update of this Mosasaurus, okay? All right, thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.